In this video, you're gonna learn about local awareness ads and how you can create Facebook ads to reach people on Facebook and Instagram when they are near your business location. We'll start by understanding what local awareness ads are and some of the call to actions you can include in those ads. Then we will jump into a case study here and see how this business, the Pescaria, was able to build a lot of excitement around their business through local awareness ads even before they launched. Then we will have a look at this case study here for a medical center in Israel where they were able to generate leads using local awareness ads. Then we will jump into the ads create tool and I'll show you some of the things you need to watch out for when you're setting up one of these local awareness ads and also the difference between a local awareness ads and the store visits marketing objective that you can see here. To get started, let us look at the local awareness ad, understand it a little bit better. So as you now understand, you use it to really get local attention. And some of the messages that you can use for these local adver adverts are to highlight promotions, tell people about an offer, happy hour sale and give them that incentive to visit your business. Now the key thing is that you want to keep it local and you can tell a story about your business roots, local products, you can showcase a fun fact. Does your location have a unique quality or interesting backstory? Tell people about it in your business. So those are some of the ideas for the content of these local awareness ads. Now let's have a look further down here and look at the call to action buttons that you can use in these local awareness ads. Now they are called local awareness ads, but there are some cool call to actions you can include like giving people directions, help them find your shop from their phone. It's great for driving foot traffic. You can include your phone number in these ads so they can call you in one tap and speak to you directly. You can also include the call to action for them to send you a message. And that is a great way to generate leads and people very close by. And you can also just get them to learn more and click through to your website for more information. So there's more to these local awareness ads than you would think. And those call to actions are going to be great for driving foot traffic. Now let's have a look at the first case study, which is for this Italian restaurant franchise called Pescaria. So what they did and what's interesting about this particular case study is that they reused Facebook and Facebook ads before they even opened the business to promote it and generate interest. So let's scroll down a little bit and to see some of the details on this. So two months before opening day, the company began posting pictures of its dishes on Facebook. The posts aroused enormous interest and people began to ask for more information about the location of the restaurant and the opening time. And the opening day attracted 500 people who flooded the streets uh, to get access to it. So if we move down here, here are some of the results. So this is a combination of using Facebook, its page, but also the ads as well. So we can see that the Facebook is the number one source of new customers. 70% of the co company's revenue is generated through Facebook. They sold their signature dish, 3,000 of them in the first 30 days, and 80% discovered it thanks to Facebook, and 500 people attended the opening day promoted exclusively through Facebook. So this case study really shows that even a Facebook page is extremely powerful for a local business. Now, if we look up in terms of the actual ads themselves, what they said is it seems to be after they opened, they started to run the ads that they uh, ran ads to reach more potential customers. The target audience was defined by geographic location, six mile radius of the restaurant, and they have tested those boundaries over time as they've gone on to look at the different franchises, etc. But I think that is just a great case study to see that you can promote through the Facebook page even prior to launch and build up a lot of buzz for that opening day. Now they don't seem to have mentioned it here, but you could use an event response ad, which we'll cover later, to really make sure that opening day is a big hit and you can get a lot of people coming in like they did here. In this case, it seems like they were able to generate that interest organically, 
but you could do that with an event response ad for an opening day. And I'm gonna show you how to do that later on in the course as well. Let's move on to the second case study and look at how a medical center in Israel was able to generate leads for their maternity services. So we can see here that they got over 90% of target audience reached. They had quite a small audience for these type of services. Uh, obviously, there's not that many people having babies. So it is a quite a niche market and they were able to need to and meet 90% of it in Israel, which is pretty impressive. 14% of clicks converted into leads, 82% of leads became customers. So that's the interesting thing that about 14% click through, which is pretty high, and then 82% of those became customers, which is very high again. So they must have had a great strategy in order to make this happen. So let's look at some of the uh, ways that they do that. Now in terms of the size of the audience, 9,000 babies every year. So you're talking about 9,000 mothers, which is pretty niche. So let's have a look at how they did this. So reaching parents to be, here's the interesting part. The hospital wanted to reach pregnant women in Israel, a relatively small audience at any given time. And the marketing team knew that they needed a very cost effective way to tap into this audience. So first what they did is a a targeted ad to relevant people based on age, gender, interest, and location. Then it used custom website audiences to retarget website visitors with a strong call to action. And people in the relevant locations who'd visited their campaign landing page were shown optimized lead ads, which encouraged them to make an inquiry very quickly and easily. So the strategy here for them was firstly, because they didn't know exactly who the people were and who would be interested, they did a broader campaign based on in age, gender, interests, and locations. Women of a certain age who might be pregnant uh, might have certain interests in, in things that they could pick up on. And of course, the location, because they have a medical center, can only serve a radius of people. Then they followed that up. Once they knew who clicked through on that ad with a lead ad, and obviously Facebook was able to pre-fill maybe their phone number, email, and they were able to follow up. And that's probably why they had such a high number of leads becoming customers. Maybe they call those customers afterwards and conversion over phone is gonna be much, much higher. And that could be the reason that you're seeing such big results there. But the strategy in general, very interesting interest age demographic targeting first followed up with a lead ad based on a custom audience very interesting to see now let us jump into the ads create tool inside your ads manager and uh, really want to walk you through the process of setting up one of these local awareness ads they're very similar to most campaigns but there's a couple of things to say and also in here i wanted to just explain the difference between local awareness ads and store visits it seems like it's the same thing why are they in two different columns well the key thing about these store visits here is that these are still for people to visit your brick and mortar locations but the, the difference is that these ads are really set up to serve people and stores with multiple locations. So the idea about these ads is that you have one cre creative and that you can serve that to a lot of different neighborhoods and that it will dynamically change the phone number that you need to call, the address that you want to go to if you wanna give people uh, directions and even if they're separate reps, websites for separate locations, you can include the URLs there. So this is location-based ads at scale, and that's really the purpose and the difference between these store visits. Now, if you wanna set up one of these store visits ad and you've got multiple locations and you wanna show a different ad to each location, then the first thing you have to do is set up your business locations in Business Manager, and you can click here to really get a walkthrough of all those steps. Now, as I don't have a Facebook page that is has a specific location in it. Fortunately, I can't walk you through all the steps, but it's fairly straightforward and all of these steps are given out here. But the key difference 
is really that this is ideal if you've got multiple locations, if you're a franchise and you want to develop these ads at scale. Let's come to the local awareness ads though and really have a look through this process. So I can just select this as my marketing objective. And down here, you just select the radius of the audience that you want to cover. The age, the gender, of course. You want to target specific people like we saw in the medical center example. They were really focusing on women of a certain age. And so think about not just people around your business, but the type of people as well. Coming down to the ad example here, I want to show you quickly how you can change the call to action for these type of ads. So right now you can see the call to action is like page, but as this is a local awareness ad, there are much better options that you can choose from like you can get people to call now. Now here's the thing is that if you want to call now, the action is only available on the mobile news feed and Instagram feed placements. So you can not put this on a desktop. So I'd have to remove those placements, which I can do here easily if I want to do that. So coming back up to placements, let's just see where this is now. It's not on the audience network. Uh, I'm going to see here for Facebook. It's just in the feeds. I can pop that in. And then for Instagram as well, I can see it's in the feed. So if I come down again, I'm going to come down to call now. Now I just stick in my phone number there. I can also put in get directions as well and pop in the street ad address. So I think remember for these type of local awareness ads, you're really targeting people on mobile. So for those placements as well, you want to make sure and that you are, are really targeting people for mobile and make sure that you're not putting, say we have mobile only up here and just make sure that's set as that. In terms of your ad creative, well, you can put in a lot of different things here. If we go back to our original example, some of the ideas that you can use, you can highlight some promotions. So you could say it's happy hour or there's a sale on Unfortunately, you can not put like a coupon in here for this particular type of ad, but you can say sale on now or happy hour now drinks at the special price. And you can also schedule these ads to run at a particular time, which is probably going to be a good idea if your local business is only open for a particular time. And in terms of ad scheduling, you can run these ads on a schedule as well. You do have to set up a lifetime budget in order to enable that, um, but that could be a great idea for a local business. So this lifetime budget is, you set the lifetime budget of the campaign and it's not done on a daily basis. And the reason for that is Facebook needs to make sure that it can deliver and, and spend the budgets and that might not be possible to do it every single day. So you can really set those schedules and that's probably a good idea for a local awareness ad. So to recap on some of these uh, things that you need to watch out for, just make sure the placements are for mobile only in terms of budget and schedule. You might want to do that on a, an, a particular schedule if your business is only open on certain times or you have a happy hour at a certain time and you want to run that. Then down in the ad level, just think about that call to action and what that should be and uh, use an appropriate ad creative for the uh, promotion that you're running or happy hour, etc. So now that you understand what local awareness ads are, go ahead and set one up if you want to reach more people on Facebook and Instagram when they're near your business location.